Hi! Following the video of Sanjiu Village in Ichon for spring, I'll show you exploring the city of Yeju with beautiful South San River in Korea. I looked around royal tombs that were registered on the World Heritage Site and she looks at temple that is uniquely located in a flat area near beautiful riverside and rode a charming Hwangpo sailing boat at beautiful South San River. Feeling the river on a lovely boat close to the temple located near the beautiful river was an awesome moment. First, I'll show you royal tombs, Yeongneung and Yeoju. This is a tomb keeper's house of King Hyojung's and was designated as a treasure as it is excellent and preserved fast. Beautiful sanjiu flowers add beauty to it. The left is for Yeongneung of King Sejong, but I'll go to Yeongneung of King Hyojong first. This is Songseulmun of King Hyojong's Yeongneung, and the road is divided into two, Hyangno and Aro. The left is Hyangno, where incense and written prayers are carried for memorial service. This is a road for kings to walk on for memorial service, and visitors are supposed to use this road too. This is the tomb of Queen Insun, King Hyojong's wife, and having no fans is distinct from that of King. The disposition and scale of the red stone figures are said to be the same. King Hyojong's Yeongneung is a little off from here. If you look into the video, you can see the king's tomb is surrounded with wall. Now I come down to go to King Sejong's Yeongne. The forest road that connects the tombs of the king is said to be beautiful, but it is closed now because of construction. It has been closed since last August because of restoring work, and it will be open by the end of September this year. So I made copies of pictures of King Sejong. On the way to parking lots of King Sejong's Yeongneung, I filmed the statue of King Sejong, but it's so small. King Sejong not only created Korean alphabet, but also worked on some scientific inventions, so I can see some sculptures for his achievement in a distance. When it opens, I'll look into them. On the way to Siluxa, the beautiful park with a pond pleases my eyes. There's a admission fee of 3,000 won for adults to see Siluxa Temple. The temple is beautifully decorated with many colorful lanterns to celebrate a coming Buddha's birthday. Siluxa is a unique temple that is located in a flat area at the riverside in Korea. The temple is said to have been founded by Wonhyo, the Buddhist Grand Master.
stopping on a pavilion, the Namanga River is wide open. A ship is coming as beautifully as a picture in a distance. Huangpo's sailing boat seems to be run, so I'd better look around the temple in a hurry to ride it. In Buddhism, humans are supposed to be judged after death by Shiwang, and this is Myeongbujeon where Buddhists enshrine Jijangbosal. This is Josadang that keeps portraits of Jigong Hwasang, Naung Hwasang, and Muak Desang, and is designated as a treasure. The multi-storied brick pagoda standing tall on the cliff of the river is unique as it is built with brick, not stone. It is said that it was so high that it served as a lighthouse for ships on the river. Coming down, a pavilion and three-story stone pagoda are stood on the big rock by the river and it's the most beautiful sight. It is said that this is where the culmination of Naung Hwasang was done and the pagoda and pavilion Kangwal Han were built to honor here. Coming down along the riverside a little bit from Siluksa Temple, I could see the dock. Fees of several types of boats and rice are written, and the fee of selling boat is 6,001 for adults and 4,001 for children. I thought that I had to wait for minimum riders, but luckily I could start at once despite just three riders. Two riders enjoy their riding, taking pictures at the rear of the boat, and I took videos and enjoyed wide-open views at the front. The tall, multi-storied brick pagoda and Kangwal Han, the beautiful pavilion in Siluksa, are getting closer before me. Though the sailing boat runs on its motor, viewing the river on a sailing boat made of wood felt much more charming. The deep blue Yogang River looks like the sea. Wow! They are riding a duck boat on this river, like the deep sea. I remember riding it and got tired before as I had to keep paddling. Thanks for watching. 
please subscribe, like, and comment.